find enough time to make another tutorial after who knows how long. I'm gonna, for this one, I'm just gonna simply teach you as many effects as I can within 10 minutes because that's as long as my recorder can go. So I'm planning to do the flash, shatter, shape, and hopefully the splits and uh, what I call a flow pass. But you'll see what I mean by those. So I'm gonna go with the flash first things first. It's actually extremely easy and it just takes a few seconds. So you basically go to your media generators, pull out a white solid, wait for a bit, go to your composition mode, change it to add, and then make this as long as you want, fade it out, and then you'll get something, of course you can lower transparency if you want, and then you get something like this. It's a pretty easy but simpler flash than um, the ones, the transitional ones, because all the brightness and contrast, because they're just a real pain sometimes, and this is just easier. But yeah, that's basically what you do with the flashing. Next, we have the shatter effect. A lot of people ask how you do the shatter effect. The thing is, you need a plugin for this from the plugin pack, but I don't have the slightest clue where you get it, because apparently my bag just came with Magic Bullet and these plugins. But that's a side problem. If I find a link somewhere, I think Charlie has one. Couldn't you post it at master list of things? I'll go check again. But if you have it or you managed to get it somehow, legal or not. <laughs> Um, you add it here, you click the animate, <clears throat> I usually have this in, um, a three, no, three or four keyframe, so the first one's regular, and then you change the shattering for, so I should really full screen this, alright, and then a little bit more, shatter a bit more, a little bit more so you then have let me just shorten the keyframes so it's easier to see I'm sorry my voice sounds like iffy right now it's like I just woke up and the only time I can make tutorials is in the mornings and I am not a morning person at all. So we have, yeah, so I mean, let's lower the preview bit so it's easy to see. It's something like this, and if you want, you can just do a, I don't know, random ro 3D rotating. They're pretty cool. The problem is, you have to know when it's right to use them because. You can't do a really sad video in other words, just a spasm of shards that'll get- that'll stab somebody in the eye. Cause that's not fun at all. Wow. You can also do like, rotates, 3D, like, whoa man. This is crazy. Actually this is pretty cool. <laughs> I just never had the time to do it, and then you know, shatter it, and then Gravity. The gravity basically pushes this down, and then the regularity gives you like more shadows. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then I, yeah, it's just default. So we have that shadow. Mm, that's another one I can do. Oh, yes, yeah, split. Don't ask me why there's a random out of picture in my Niagara folder. I'm just extremely <laughs> organized, but then it's like I mess up sometimes. So it's time to do that split effect, and if you have no point of idea what I mean at this point, um, 
I'll just show you. Um, let's see. I think this is short enough. I'm gonna keep it that long. So it doesn't take like five years to set up. You're gonna need two layers for this. It's usually a two layer effect. And I should take it off the end. There we go. <clears throat> and from here you just kinda do a sort of And then you do this one too. Oh, you might want to remember. Two, five, seven. So now you have. So this is a split. In case you didn't know how to do it, you don't have to do it like directly across. You can do it this way or this way. I just tend to do it this way because you know it's easier to mask. But if you want to do it like directly down, just put on your grid and see. This one's the center line, so you can just um like uh, mask something. So like. If you do it, just guess right now, and then keep this to this, um, move freely, and then you go to normal two, and you click on the keyboard individually, and you kind of move your key, your keyboard or your keys, so that keyframes line up properly. I think this is just about right. Yeah, it is, and then you kind of. Just copy paste it, put it to negative, and then it'll do it to the other side without you having to painfully mask it again. Okay, so let's see what else can I teach you? We've got three minutes. Um, let's try a cookie cutter. Where's cookie cutter? So, these are one of my favorite effects to do. So, you take an image, you size it down slightly more than you need to, pick it up again. So, we have something like this, and then you split it. You take another one, and then you could just let me. Crap, I messed up. <laughs> uh -huh, these are kind of a pain to do sometimes. But once you get the hang of it, it's not really that bad. And then you can like... I don't know, shrink it more? It's just up to your imagination how you want to do this. Like, sorry that was too fast. And I used the wrong key. God damn. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so, what's the shape? Cookie, 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 what the hell? Cookie cutter effect is, is basically that, what I was doing, I failed miserably, but you just do it in different directions. I'll just make a different tutorial and focus, and focus mainly on that, because apparently I can't do it right now. <laughs> yeah. And that's all I'll teach for now. Hopefully I can do more later.